Hi everyone, the chosen topic of our group is unemployment and the issue that we want to talk about is how unemployment rate affect the economy in Malaysia during COVID-19 pandemic. But before that, I would like to introduce my group first. First of all, my name is Mama Izzat bin Ismail, 2AX270 and from the left, the members are Ko Yi Kian, 2X7631, Liu Chiu Lin, 2X77X6, Jasmine Kum Hoi Ming, 2X9838, and lastly, called Radatul Kaula binti Muhammad Yazid, 2X9261. Since everyone acknowledge about how badly the pandemic affect the society and even the economy in Malaysia, the countless deaths have been recorded almost every day and been displayed through the social media. For surely, many people have lost their job or been fired because the company cannot pay employee wage and even they remain in the company, their wage have been deducted into the half of their net salary. A lot of people have been suffer, including the economy that been lost enough to put measure in economically, such as high employment and depreciation. So, the purpose of this documentary is to talk about the issues deeply and how the unemployment related to pandemic COVID-19. Amid the COVID-19 recession and strict movement control order, unemployment in Malaysia has hit the highest percentage as economic activities in Malaysia has been disrupted. Um, uh, recorded a very high unemployment rate in May 2020 where we saw 5.3% of unemployment rate and that was very high. During the same period, the number of employed persons went up by 47.4 thousand to 826.1 thousand persons. Many will fall into poverty because of the pandemic. As we can see, there is a rise of unemployment from 2019 to 2021, when Malaysia unemployment rate for 2020 was 4.50 percentage and 1.24 increase from 2019, and for 2021 was 4.61% or 0.11 percent increase from the year 2020. On the other hand, the number of job vacancies in Malaysia has been decreasing. It started decreasing in the end of 2017, then a slight improvement occurred in 2018 and dropped again in 2019, and hit lowest in March 2020. This indication not only COVID-19 and MCO affects unemployment rate in the country, but also on the job availability. The economy was almost entirely shut down between March and June 2020. This causing the GDP gross domestic product to contract by Rupai 17.1% in the second quarter of 2020. Malaysia GDP falls to lowest 17.1%, the first time quarterly GDP changed in negative territory, which is the worst since 1998. The government is expecting the economy to shrink in Q2 as the coronavirus hits exports and domestic demand. The central bank governor, No Samsha Yunus, said that at the virtual press conference that the worst is not over. Due to the strict public health containment measures, both international as well as domestically. Here we can see due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Malaysians are at risk for high unemployment rate in the near future. High unemployment rate has a wide-ranging impact on the economy. Unemployed persons may incur more debt. They will also spend less money, resulting in a lower contribution to the economy in terms of services or goods supplied and created. When people are unemployed, they also experience a reduced purchasing power. Unemployment has some bad effects on economic growth. First, unemployment leads to labor exploitation. Laborers are exploited as a result of unemployment. They have to accept low wages and work under unfavorable conditions. Second, unemployment leads to political instability. Due to unemployment, the country is politically unstable. Unemployed people engage in destructive activities. They consider the government as worthless. When there is political instability, the economic growth becomes difficult. Thirdly, employment can also cause social problems. Many societal ills like dishonesty, gambling, and immorality emerge. It jeopardizes the country's law and order condition. It causes social disruption in the society. Additionally, unemployment causes a rise in poverty among the people. When a person is unemployed, they do not have a job, and hence do not have any source of money. Unemployment causes poverty. The burden of debt continues to rise. Economic problems also increase. 
The effects of unemployment also lead to loss of human resources. Human resources are wasted because of high unemployment rates. There is no productive use of the available labor force. On the other hand, the rate of economic growth in the country would speed up when its human resources are utilized. As a conclusion, unemployment may be generally viewed as an economic issue, but its impacts are actually greater than that, as it affects mental health, stress levels, and consequently, an individual's quality of life, as well as having an impact on community. The implementation of the MCO in Malaysia has caused many job sector forced to stop operation immediately. Not only that, business close during the implementation of the MCO has caused many companies to face difficulties in meeting the cost of expenses, including employee wages, so that the some company have to make the decision to fire employees. In fact, there is also company that are declared bankrupt and forced to lay off all their employees due to the inability to continue operating. The most important thing as a result of the layoff is that individuals need to always cultivate a positive attitude when facing the pandemic by improving skills, such as continuing study, taking short-term course and improving performance. This attitude improves one's own ability can ensure that an employee continue to be valued by the company. In fact, even if laid off, positive people like this will easily accept a new job because they have other skills that other company will definitely need. In fact, they can also work on their own based on previous work experience. Other than that, university graduates can also try to find alternatives to build their own career or venture into economic activity, such as entrepreneurship. It can help move the economy during the pandemic. University graduates can start their own business by using the knowledge learned while studying at university. Self-employment is seen to be able to bring profit without having to depend on an employer because the income they earn is the result of their own effort. In fact, graduates do not be too picky about job and think professionally about a job and have an attitude of responsibility toward themselves, their family, society, and country. In conclusion, unemployment is a serious issue during COVID-19 crisis. Enough of workers have lost their job. Unemployment has a variety of effects including labor exploitation and social issues. However, government and individuals must take initiative action to both productivity if they want to see the economy for its body. To strengthen one's performance levels and develop their talents, one must expand their capability and take part in training sessions. The government has implemented a number of strategies to address the, the economy's unemployment issues. Government may increase capital projects like the building of new rural hospitals, which can serve as a springboard for the development of additional employment in the economy. It boosts the economy's ability to generate money. Besides, government can may start by lowering interest rates, which increase demands for credit and encourage people to save more money. To reach high-income national status within the next five years, I think it is the obligation for all Malaysians to cooperate in order to accelerate economic growth and raise the country's level of competitiveness.